yeah, I'm freezing. Oh my gosh, I got my coffee. I hope you're not offended by my mug, but I mean business today. We're going to get some stuff done today and it's about time. It's already, what, the middle? No, three weeks into January. And I need to get on board and get this house tidy and the closet done. So I decided to divide my video into seven sections. So the first one is the actual physical wardrobe. The next is my lifestyle or your lifestyle, choosing a color palette, editing clothes, final choices, and seven days of fashion. I'm freezing. So as always on Sundays, our videos come out at 7.30 in the morning and they are in collaboration with the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. Let me introduce you. First, we have Tina from Tina's Talk Time and her Instagram is Tina's Talk Time. Then we have Karen, Geordie Grandma. Now her Instagram channel is The Geordie Grandma. Next, we have Maria Crocker and her Instagram is just Maria Crocker, no underscore. Then we have our special guest. Lynn and her channel is Nana M. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my channel Nana M. My name is Lynn and uh, my channel is all about all kinds of everything. And her Instagram is I am Mrs MTV and Lynn's channel is a lifestyle channel just like ours and I want to say welcome and thank you for joining us this week. Now after this video please go visit their channels and watch their videos, show them some love and let Lynn know that you are visiting from our channels. So let's talk wardrobes. Now, whether you have a wardrobe like this or whether you have a walk-in closet, how does it feel when you open your wardrobe doors or when you walk into that closet? Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel proud? Does it make you feel miserable? Or does it simply stress you out? Now, if it stresses you out or makes you miserable, let's try and change that because mine at the moment is stressing me out. <laughs> I'm gonna take you in there in a second. But if you have a wardrobe, have you thought about maybe decorating the inside of it? Even if you have a simple wardrobe that you just open up, maybe you could paint the inside a bright colour or you could get some sticky wallpaper and wallpaper the inside. Whether it's simply decluttering or reorganising, organising by colour, changing out your hangers to fancy hangers, adding mirrors inside or even lighting. I've done a couple of those things. Let me take you into my closet. Now, even though I used to be a professional space planner and you probably didn't know that about me, I still let my closet get junky. So I'll show you that in a second. But if you have a closet or if you have a small bedroom that you would like to professionally organize, I am going to share my video that I've made a couple of years ago on how to design a closet space using the IKEA planner. Now, I'm going to add that video at the end if you'd like to watch that, but please go watch that after you've watched the other ladies' videos. So let me share with you my closet. Now I did only used to have one rail going around with one shelf. That is a standard closet in America when you buy a new home. So I completely changed that. Now I have more than quadrupled my usable space in the closet. Let me show you. So we are a bit crammed in here. So I put my first shelf right at the top of my room and I've put my bags all the way around. You can see one's falling out. This is a little tip. If you shop at Home Goods and they wrap all your glassware up in paper, save that paper, stuff your bags and it helps keep them in shape. Obviously not when they're upside down like that. But So all my bags are up top. Next, I have all my hangy tops. I have my long dresses. I have my shoes in my Billy Ikea bookcase. I have my dirty clothes hamper. I have more hangy stuff here. Got some colour coordination going on there. Then I have these dollar store boxes that I have running all the way along to separate certain items. Over here, I've got another Billy bookcase full of shoes, some party hats. And right at the bottom and under here, it's very dark, I'm sorry, but I have more Tupperware for the larger knitwear. Then I have a little space here for my sunglasses. Now I do have it organized. So I have husband's work clothes, smart pants, jackets. I've in the back corner, I have his summer shirts, like the short sleeve ones. Then I bring his long sleeved ones to the front and then I switch them out each season. 
but I have too many clothes, way too many clothes. A couple of the ways that I've made myself happy with this closet is that I did bring in this velvet stool to sit on. I really like that touch. I changed the light in. We used to have a standard light like this. I changed it out for this, and then I really like the Edison light bulbs. I also painted my ceiling a dark blue and added a little ceiling rose. And at the back of my Billy bookcase, I added dark blue and gold wallpaper. And then I changed out the carpet to wood flooring. So they weren't huge, massive changes to my closet, but they were enough to make me happier. Let's talk lifestyle. So I literally sat down with a pen and piece of paper and I wrote down what is my lifestyle. And I started jotting down, what do I spend my time doing? 90% of the time I'm in my house. I do go out to eat quite often with friends or my hubby, or sometimes by myself. I do go shopping. I am at the gym. I do work and I do film in. I'm an extra in movies and commercials and stuff. So those are the main things that I do with my time. Then I broke it down into two things, winter and summer, because let's face it, Vegas, we really don't have an autumn. It might last two weeks and spring, is kind of hit and miss. It's either cold or it's really, really hot. So then I started writing down, what is it that I wear and what do I need to wear? What do I want to wear in the future? So under my home category for winter, you'll see I put sweatpants, cardigans, sweaters, jeans, leggings, t-shirts, hoodies. And for summer, I literally only wear shorts and t-shirts in the house. Going out to eat for winter, Pants, blazers, blouse, jeans, sweaters. Now, some of these things are wants because I don't have very many pants. So by writing down pants, that's made me jog my memory like, I actually need to go buy some pants. For summer, I put skirt, dress, shorts, jeans, and t-shirts. Now for shopping, I've got the same clothes, but I've also added comfy shoes for shopping and a big bag. And for summer, I've got to include my flip-flops and sunglasses. For gym wear, I've got sweatpants, hoodies, tennis shoes, flip-flops. Flip-flops in the winter time are for wearing into the sauna and the steam room and my gym bag. For summer, it's pretty much the same, except for instead of sweatpants, it's leggings, t-shirts, and a baseball hat. Now for my job, I actually have a uniform, so I don't need to worry about those clothes. And the only other thing that I do is filming. Now filming, as an extra, you have to take your own clothes. And if they don't like the clothes you've taken, they will send you to wardrobe and they will put you in the clothes that they want you to wear. So they always do ask you to take a suitcase full of clothes. So I do need to keep some glam, glitzy dresses, tops, heels, and you always need a warm jacket because sometimes when you agree to work on a film set, they don't tell you. <laughs> that in February, you will be filming outdoors and it's freezing cold. They expect you to wear summer dresses because the film might appear to be in the summertime, but it's actually being filmed in the wintertime. So you do need those thick padded jackets for being on set. So now that I have my list written down of all the things that I need or want, it makes going into my closet a little less daunting. I can now look at the clothes and go, right, it's not on my list chuck it. So let's talk colour palette and I've chosen two colour palettes and two neutrals which is the white and the black. White and black go with everything. I've chosen the neutral beige tans brown colours and I've also chosen the pastel colours. And big top executives they will often just have one colour palette for their work. They will have seven blue work shirts, seven black pants and they wear the same thing as their uniform to work and they just make their life easier. They don't have to worry about clothes first thing in the morning. Now that's not to say that I'm gonna chuck every bright thing that I have in my closet <laughs> away. That's not the case. I am going to keep a few pieces, but generally speaking, moving forward, I want to keep within that color palette because I want to make it easier on myself to when I grab stuff, I know that that t-shirt will match four cardigans or those four cardigans will match those jackets. I just want to make it easier on myself. So I'm going to go into my wardrobe and start editing my clothes, pulling out some of the items that I don't need anymore, don't want anymore. I'm going to bag them up and I'm going to take them to the charity shop or the thrift store. So 
So I see a bit of a theme here. I have been collecting highly patterned clothes and quite bright ones here. And I just, I just need to edit. So I'm gonna fold these up. I've got my bin bags here and I'm going to, they're all clean. They are, they have all been washed and uh, I'm gonna bag them up and take them to the thrift store. Going in for my second pile, I'm going to add a bit more to this bag here, but then I'm going to start on a second bag. As you can see, I've got plenty of uh, free hangers now. <laughs> so my final choice of colours are black and greys. We've got some taupes, light blue. I have kept some autumn colours. we got a dark grey. And here we've got the taup, the black, the beige, the cream, the, the tan colour, dark green, the light green, the white and finally the blacks. So now that I've started this process of editing, I fast, <laughs> fast learned that this is going to be a process. I want to say this is going to take over a two week period for me to finish this. But I'm glad I started. I'm glad. I'm glad. I feel some pressure off me already. It feels good. And uh, we're going to take these clothes to the Goodwill. Now I'm going to put seven looks together. Um, just using some of the stuff that I got left over. Outfit number one, this would be a gym outfit. So I've gone with all neutral colours, my trusty hat that I love so much to wear at the gym, my Halara leggings. This top is from Anthropology, and this is, I don't know what brand that is, can't remember, but look number one. Look number two, shopping from my closet, my dark jeans, my new stripy t-shirt from Target, my oversized shirt, I think from H&M, and my shoes that I haven't worn yet from Ross. Look number two. Look number three, my Gianni Benini shoes, my mid-coloured jeans. Now I have this blazer that I bought from the thrift store for $8. Love it, wear it, really happy with this. And my old, old H&M shirt that, as you can see, I have never worn hung in my closet that long this is look number three look number four is a day of editing in the house it's freezing cold here so i've put my roll neck on with my warm little gilet and my leggings from target look number five is my thrifted jacket with a black t-shirt i've got black boots and i've got my super wide jeans that are washed effect i'm excited to wear this one i really like this jacket i haven't worn it yet number six i've gone from my really light wash jeans my polo tennis shoes my white target t-shirt and my h&m cardigan that i really do like and i haven't worn enough this winter so i need to wear that tomorrow possibly number seven i've gone for white pants and these old trainers that I've kept, they're so comfy from Target. I got them on discount, ever so cheap. I can't remember how much, but I remember thinking, what a bargain when I bought them. Um, this blazer, I don't remember where I got I think this is Target. But I like this little ruffle detail on it. And then this is a Target t-shirt that I literally just bought. But this is look number seven. Now that little exercise of taking the clothes out of the closet and putting them on the bed and putting a look together really has opened my eyes because I often stand in the closet staring at my clothes thinking what can I put with what does that go with that does that go with that it, but doing that laying it out on the bed seeing that those colors do work has opened my eyes there's a lot more different looks that I can do from the clothes that I already own than what I thought so I'm really happy I did that I hope that's given you some inspiration I hope you've enjoyed this video I'll see you in a couple of days. Now, don't forget to go check out the other Housewives videos and Lynn's video from Nana M. Thank you for the collaboration, Lynn. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Have a great weekend. Bye.